same as it always been. Um, obviously, it's desperation time. You know, but going in, you know, positive attitude, knowing what we're capable of, trying to execute it the um, best we can. We've seen some mistakes, made some adjustments, figure out if that works, have a plan B, might change some things that will give them different looks, but overall, we have to execute it um, on the floor. As players, we got to bring the energy, we got to bring the intensity and focus, and hopefully make some shots. That'll help, too. The confidence, because you haven't made some shots, is that waning at all? No. I said our group has always been a positive type group. We all always believe in each other. We always encourage each other. Uh, regardless of how many somebody's missed, we always encourage that guy to shoot the next shot, you know, without thinking. Um, I said hopefully you know, we're due for a, a better shooting night. Uh, I don't think it get any worse than, you know, it's been. Danny, hopefully not, knock on wood. Danny, you ever had a three-game stretch as a team? Um, I don't think so. This year during the season, maybe. Um, we had a rough season. It's up and down, a lot of injuries chemistry-wise, figuring out lineups, who's playing with who. Um, but I don't think it's bad as it's been, um, especially in the playoffs. I, I haven't seen it. But I said, hopefully we're due for one. All of those factors that you just mentioned, that added up to the shooting was throughout the season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there anything else that you can do? Um, I think mostly that, I mean, obviously fatigue, you know, sets in. You got other guys playing more minutes. Um, you got younger guys playing more minutes than usual. I guess a little bit of experience, guys figuring out the sets, learning the sets, learning where the spots are. Um, you know, other teams playing pretty good, changing, adjusting, adapting to how we're playing, style of play. Um, you know, we just got to find ways to make it easy for ourselves to take some uncontested ones. A lot of it's on ourselves, too. We, um, early in the season and during the season, we took some, some bad ones, early ones, uncontested uh, shots. I think some parts of the season we started getting back to old Spurs basketball. We moved it and got some uncontested ones. Um, later in the shot clock, we just swing and make the extra one good to great. We got to get back to that. Um, but with this team, it's hard to get good to great because they react and um, rotate so well. They get back to the second side, so and we have to take the one we see that's open and, and shoot with confidence. Can't hesitate, right? That's what Coach said. Exactly. No hesitation. When people think back to Game Four against these guys last year, I think what they remember is. Manu love, like the, the yeah. pop starts them and the crowds cheering for him, chant for him. It felt almost like a retirement that didn't happen. What was that like for you guys? Um, and be a part of and it was. It's always great to be a part of anything that has to do with Manu or any of those guys that have been here there so long. Um, Tony as well and Timmy, um, but to have him on the team and give his body, and his effort all year long when he doesn't have to be here. You know, he's done what he needs to do in his career, and you know, he's made enough to be okay. But he comes back because he loves to compete, and he loves this organization, he loves our team. Um, and see him get so much love from the crowd and for us, is a, it's a special thing. And it's great to be a part of it. You know, I'm glad I'm here to witness it and be a teammate, call him a teammate and a family member you know, for so many, for as many years as I've been here. But so it's been a tough year for everybody. You know, if it doesn't happen the way we want it to happen for him, and he goes out on a note that we don't want him to go out on, you know, hopefully you know, we get a chance to do something special for him, or you know, hopefully it's a good one for him especially. So. Danny, is he, is he so beloved because of that passion that he plays with? I mean, the fans just love the guy. You know, Definitely. You He's just the place. ultimate ultimate competitor. Um, doesn't need any coaching. He's the type of guy that coaches himself and has intensity. Is one thing that you don't need to tell Manu to do, and that's to bring intensity or bring energy, bring juice or passion. He might make a turnover here or there or you know, shoot a wild shot that Pipe Pop might, might not like, but um, you know, you don't have to teach him or, or coach him to be intense or into the game. That's just one thing he brings night in, night out, regardless of how old he is. There's a lot of uncertainty, you know, entering the offseason. Do you just push that behind, you know, to the back of your mind right now? Uh, yeah, we, well, offseason's offseason. Offseason's not here yet. <laughs> We're still playing basketball. It's not over for us. Um, you know, we worry about that when it comes. But right now, you know, we're still with each other, here for each other, supporting each other, and, and know that you know all it takes is one game to get to turn it around for us. And I think we can do it. We make the right adjustments. You never know what could happen. Uh, we had a 20-point lead last year in the game. Somebody got hurt. And next, you know, it changed the whole series. Any one player, one you know game could change the whole series.